ongoing aggression towards the Republic of Armenia and the Republic of Artsakh. Thank you. Yet again, Armenia finds itself in a position of defense against their hostile, aggressive, and armenophobe neighbor, Azerbaijan, marking the deadliest escalation of violence in the region since the four-day war of April 2016. On July 12, the Azerbaijani military began attacks on the Republic of Armenia's sovereign borders. This proved to be the beginning of what has so far been over a week of relentless drone, tank and artillery attacks orchestrated by Azerbaijan and countered by Armenia, resulting in over a dozen deaths. Sparking the biggest ceasefire breach since 2016, also an initiated blitz, blitzkrieg attempt by Azerbaijan, Baku is yet to receive any form of reprimand or condemnation by the international community for their warmongering actions. We are here to say, no more! Adding fuel to Azerbaijan's fire is their big brother, the Republic of Turkey, whose Ministry of Foreign Affairs publicly expressed unconditional support for the attack of the Azerbaijani army against the Republic of Armenia while manipulating facts. This continues the years-long collaboration between the twin Turkish and Azerbaijani dictatorships to impose geopolitical and economic isolation on Armenia and block the human and democratic rights to self-determination of the Armenian Republic of Artsakh. When Azerbaijan attacks the innocent indigenous Armenians of the internationally unrecognized Republic of Artsakh, we have sadly become accustomed to global calls for restraint from both sides without calling out and holding accountable the transgressing party. But we all know that there is only one aggressor. There is only one party to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict that does not accept the placement of gunfire locator systems on the border. Is it Armenia? No. Is it Artsakh? No. no. Because these peace-loving nations of indigenous inhabitants have no interest in war. Peace is what they seek. Peace is what we seek. But Azerbaijan, while well, they do not accept technology 
that will determine the culprit of ceasefire breaches because then even their oil billions will not be able to silence the truth that Baku is guilty. The international inaction has resulted in Azerbaijan, jeweled by impunity, now attacking a sovereign, sovereign neighboring state. That's right. Not content with attacking the self-determined Republic of Artsakh, the Aliyev dictatorship is now attacking the Republic of Armenia. We stand here to condemn these attacks. We stand here to demand Australia and the international community to stop Azerbaijan's aggression. We demand the world helps keep Armenia and Artsakh strong. And to stop Aliyev! Stop Aliyev! Stop Aliyev! Stop Aliyev! Stop Aliyev! Stop Aliyev! Artsakh is Armenia! 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 I would now like to uh, call Anna Berberian to also make a speech on behalf of AYF Australia. As we speak, Azerbaijani soldiers are attacking Armenia's northeastern Tabush region at the direction of dictator President Ilham Aliyev, using dangerous and warmongering rhetoric to call cries for war, Aliyev's aggressive military actions have culminated in the last week's threats to commit Chernobyl-style nuclear terrorism against Armenia. This chilling threat is not only international crime, but nuclear terrorism. Yet how has it been met by the international community? With silence. But we Armenians will not be silent, not again. We expect more. We deserve more. We will get more. If the international community should learn anything from these provocations, it is that they are dealing with an unstable and hostile dictatorship. The same dictatorship whose violent rhetoric and Armenia phobia manifested itself on the streets of Baku during this past week, when tens of thousands of protesters chanted death to Armenians and death and end to quarantine, start the war. Well, you say war, we say peace! Ah! Peace! 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 The threat from Aliyev's Defense Ministry spokesperson to commit nuclear holocaust should not be acceptable. Such as shameless threats of nuclear holocaust to an entire country and its impact on the entire region cannot be left unanswered by Australia. It cannot be left unanswered by the international community. Time and time again, the Armenian people have fought back and have won. And we will continue to do so until we are heard, until we are seen. So Azerbaijan, take your oil, take your money, fly your drones and artilleries. Something that you don't have nor will you ever is truth and the burning desire to live to see tomorrow. The resilience to see that through. That's right, you say sell oil, we tell truth. Tell truth. Tell truth. Tell truth. Tell truth. Tell truth. This is why, time and time again, the minor, landlocked state with few people, few resources, few regional friends will always be triumphant as we know what it takes to survive in a region that tells us otherwise. Artsakh strong! 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 Shame on Aliyev! Shame on Aliyev! Shame on Aliyev! Shame on Aliyev! Free. We are free! 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 We
free! We are Artsakh! We are free! We are Artsakh! Stop Aliyev! Stop Aliyev! Stop Aliyev! Stop Aliyev! Stop Aliyev! Stop Aliyev! We want peace! 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 Tartial Batmutune in Zinkegurtnet. Tartial Azerin in Kazanagan Kailerutimet. Yef Tartial Ambadiju Tajan Vosoha Baderaz Mendret. Hoita Australia Irida Sertagan Yutian Mahatserutiam. Avastrala Hai Kauti Antam Nerun Erga Yutiam. I stare the kidnapping. Mer Pawaki Tsaila Parsrat Nelu. Ilham Aliyevi. One or Gabarutian, Adan Tuneli, Almat Kai Kalerun Nagatmam. Who is Das Nirgu Erguazar Kisanin? Azerbaijan is in Batujera, Irent Pernader, Ali Evi Ramanov, Portetin Ner Hujel, Hayastani Harebadutian Sahman Nera, Yetira Havorel, Kochmian Zimboragan Getroner, Al Naev, and Merka Gatiner, Mangabar Desner, Kordzaran Ner. Gear to suit the regular of the ports and Jish Mardutuna vot Nagohel. Yeva Velin, Azerbaijani Garavarutuna, Gisparna and Pagotel, Mezamori Gorizain Guyana, Bajarelov Ahreli Gorus, Michina Rebelkia Churchan in Mech, Pavarar Cher for Ashkarov Meg, Hamakam Pavats by Karmegamavi, Corona Jarintem, Saga and Azerineru, Bajne, Martas Panutun. Grief, ye baderaz. Harkeli despan Azerbaijani pernadiragan, ye terroristagan hanra bedutian. Baderaz mi pernadarutian, ye naftain hankeru sirahar ilham ariyevit zara. Aste ukang, avstrala hai kauti imposti, ye pogi tsain artsagan kelu. Kambera en michev baku, ye bajel khaujun. Aisorerun, Turpe Dutuna, Azerigara Varutuna Gokta Korze, Iperil Amenauje Ha Tukta, Borum Michotov, Hayastani Warzahi, Venaska Hasne, Iltaravor, Nabadak Nerun Has, Nerun Hamar, Yerguka Nunen, Sagan, Mektrami, Yergu Yeresner, Ankara Den, Boranok Ambadish Gumanan, Hamasharin Hanutian Gorme, I can a dem or Hayot Seras Panutuna, Borja Kor Hayot Seras Panutian, Borja Korzera, Ambadish Gamanan, Abeli Heskala and BC, La Martkain, Bojir Neruter, Baga Sharunagelu, Evas Pisov, Pernabet, Ali Evin, Gotchku Rink, Bor Herana, Evier Pek, Chaports of Imodenal, Hayastani, Gamar Zahi Harabedutun Neru, Daras Nerun, Eselov. Aliyev Heratim! Aliyev Heratim! Aliyev Heratim! Aliyev Heratim! Aliyev Heratim! Aliyev Heratim! Azerin Gforce, Sagan Chachori, Hayot Zor Panag Ambalas Han Chimenat, Ye Bidi Chimena, was the Bejani Anmar Kain Kailer Amotalitsa or Hudunero Bidi Mat Nevin. Ye Gek Hubardor and Hisheng. Եվ հարկենք մեր հերոսներուն, մեր մարդիկներուն, Հայաստանի ու Արցախի սահմաններուն կանքնած մեր անվախ ուղի զախ սիմորներուն, որոնք օր ու գիշեր դերն ու պաշպանը կգանքնի մեր հայրենիքին, անոր խաղության և բերագանության համար։ Ashari me jur vor Allah, Hayastan en yevar zahen vor chabor heru Allah gam modik, darikov poker gam zel, yeri dasar temez, yer pek, yer pek, yev yer pek tul bidi china, yev gamen tuni vor ever azma kagan alark, vor vetan kiye tagag tuni, hayu xagag yanke uspar nalik tarna nor bade razmi. Եվ այսպիսով պարկ հայոց պարագին, պարկ հայ զինվորին, պարկ հայաղության, պարկ անգախության, 
Park Hayastani, Artsakhin, Yev Ashkaz, Bir Hamay Hayutyan. Hayastan, 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 Azar, Angar, Hayastan, Azar, Angar, Hayastan, Azar, Angar. Today we gather in front of an embassy of a country which only knows one thing, aggression. A country which a hundred years ago did not even exist, yet today tries to use its resources, its petrodollars to blur the pages of history. But we as Armenians, no matter how young or how old, will never forget those pages of history. We'll never forget the pain that has been inflicted upon our people. We will never forget those children who only weeks ago had to lay asleep in bunkers at night from the bombardment of Aliyev's aggression towards an independent Armenia. We will not forget the pogroms of Baku and Sungait. We will not forget our fallen during the four-day war and we will not forget those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice in giving their lives to defending our land, our people, our future. Days ago, the government of Azerbaijan, the very people who occupy the embassy in front of us, declared what can only be called nuclear terrorism, threatening to attack Armenia's peaceful civilian nuclear power plant. This is the neighbor that people in Armenia are forced to live with every single day. Yet, they will not stop at anything. But we are here to tell them in the streets of Canberra, in the streets of Los Angeles, in Moscow, in Paris, in London, in Norway, and wherever our voice is heard, that we will ensure that we will always remain strong. <laughs> dollars. You can keep pumping those dollars as long as you like, but you will never have the desire to live in freedom like we want to live in freedom. You will never have the desire to see a generation grow and flourish to the extent even today you do not have the courage to come and accept a letter on behalf of the community here in Australia. So we will ask Adam Tuvegjan to read that letter and through the Australian Federal Police hand that letter to the people who occupy the building in front of us. Australia 
and members of the Armenian Australian community stand at your embassy's doorstep to register our condemnation at your government's provocative attacks on Armenia over the past 10 days. The Aliyev regime's complete disregard for the internationally broken ceasefire between Armenia and Azerbaijan, as well as the United Nations Secretary General's plea for a global ceasefire during the COVID-19 pandemic is unacceptable. Your government's aggressive attack, blame, repeat, modus operandi has run its course. Objective blame can only be attributed by an honest negotiator for peace. And an honest negotiator for peace would accept the placement of gunfire locator systems along the Armenia, Artsakh, Azerbaijan borders that would determine fault when the ceasefire is broken. While the republics of Armenia and Artsakh accept this proposal, your government continues to deny the placement of these systems. In recent days, the world has witnessed your attack of drones, tanks, and artillery to target and fire upon civilian targets, endangering Armenian men, women, and children in the pro process of striking a PPE manufacturing, manufacturing factory and kindergarten. The world has also witnessed the audacious and chilling threat communicated by a Defence Ministry spokesperson to launch missile attacks against Armenia's Metsamor nuclear power plant, effectively rendering Azerbaijan under Ilham Aliyev a nuclear terrorist state. The game is up. We demand a stop to your attacks. We demand you respect the sovereign borders of the Republic of Armenia. We demand that you accept the democratic and human right to self-determination for the indigenous Armenian people of the Republic of Artsakh. We Armenian Australians stand shoulder to shoulder with our sisters and brothers defending the two Armenian republics of Armenia and Artsakh. Yours sincerely, the Armenian Youth Federation of Australia. to say a few words. As the world looks away, preoccupied with the pandemic, a small civilian indigenous population fights to keep their nation alive amongst the mountains of their people. What the international community turns their backs on allows a despotic dictatorship to continue violating their ceasefire obligations through military aggression. Which brutal dictator is allowed to get away with shelling a kindergarten in the town of Aigepad? Ilham Aliyev. Which brutal dictator is allowed to get away with opening fire on a personal protection equipment factory at the height of a global pandemic? Ilham Aliyev. Which brutal dictator is allowed to shoot at civilian houses? Ilham Aliyev. We stand with our civilian population as they defend what is theirs. Aigepad. Chinari, Mosses, Tabush and Bed, all towns where brave and heroic Armenians live and breathe, fighting each day to protect their lives. Shame, Baku, shame! Shame, Baku, shame! Shame, Baku, shame! Shame, Baku, shame! Azerbaijan, your attacks will never move the Armenian people from their land. Your aggressions will never scare us away and your provocations will never silence our voices. Time and time again, Aliyev, 
You make the mistake of underestimating our people and what we fight for. Armenians are strong. Artsakh is strong and Tavush is strong. Tavush strong. Tavush strong. Tavush strong. Tavush strong. Tavush strong. We stand with our brave soldiers that sit on our front lines, keeping our borders safe. Your sacrifice does not go unnoticed. We see you and we thank you. We are standing here today in front of the Embassy of Azerbaijan to do what we can do to help your fight. With our soldiers! With our soldiers! With our soldiers! With our soldiers! We, the members of the Armenian Australian community, stand together to condemn the aggressive actions of the Azerbaijani government and what we stand with our brothers and sisters in Armenia while they fight for what is theirs. Azerbaijan must be stopped. Azerbaijan must be stopped. Azerbaijan must be stopped. Azerbaijan must be stopped. Shame on Aliyev! Shame on Aliyev! Shame on Aliyev! You say war, we say peace! You say war, we say peace! Stop Aliyev! Stop Aliyev! Shame, Baku, shame! 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 Shame on Aliyev! 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 We are free! We are Artsakh! 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 Artsakh is Armenia! 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 With our soldiers! 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 deserves the condemnation of the international community and our presence here in Australia's capital, in Canberra, sends a message to the Australian government. We don't care about oil dollars. We don't care about the comforts that a regime like Azerbaijan might bring. A dictatorship is exactly that. It needs to be called out and it needs to be condemned. Our community is here to say that today. Tyler Kovac, I think it's really nice. Yeah. 
Thank you everyone for coming out today. This just goes to show that even during a global pandemic, that the Armenians will continue to fight for what is theirs, what is right, and we will not be stopped. So thank you everyone for coming out today. If you could all please um, slowly go back towards the buses, um, and then just in a single file and head towards the buses.